Have you heard about a condition called feline infectious peritonitis and have a few concerns? Well, watch this video to find out more. Now, before we get started, please do hit that subscribe button. And if you find the video useful, then why not give it a like? Right, let's get started. Now, feline infectious peritonitis, or FIP, is an infectious strain of feline coronavirus that can come in two forms. Wet FIP causes a life-threatening buildup of fluid in the abdomen and chest, while dry FIP causes inflammation and changes to the lungs. Feline coronavirus is more common in stray cats living in colonies, breeding cats, shelters, and multi-cat households, as it's a contagious virus that can easily spread through shared spaces. How does a cat get FIP? Cats can pick up feline coronavirus from sexual contact and blood from infected cats, feces, urine, saliva, especially if they share bowls and litter trays, as kittens if their mum is infected while pregnant. Now many cats will be able to fight off the virus while others become infected, and in rare cases, this will then develop into FIP. It's not yet known what makes feline coronavirus mutate into FIP, although it's been suggested that possible causes may include age, stress, and weakened immune systems. Any cat can catch the disease, but some breeds seem to be more vulnerable to it, including the Devon Rex, Ragdoll, and Bengals. What are the symptoms of feline infectious peritonitis? The symptoms of FIP depend on which form your cat has developed. Signs of wet FIP can include loss of appetite, difficulty breathing, and a swollen abdomen, while signs of dry FIP can include lethargy, increased thirst and urination, weight loss, and jaundice. Now, how do you diagnose feline infectious peritonitis? Well, your vet will run different blood tests and scans to check for inflammation, fluid buildup, the coronavirus itself, of course, and other abnormalities associated with this life-threatening condition. How to treat feline infectious peritonitis? Well, without treatment, FIP is almost always fatal for many felines. So it's really important to act quickly if you think your cat is ill. Treatment is usually with antiviral drugs given as an extended hospital stay, but are also very expensive, which highlights the importance of pet insurance. How to prevent your pet from getting feline infectious peritonitis? Well, after getting your kitten from a reputable breeder or rescue, preventing them from any contact with other cats is the only way to prevent FIP. If you have more than one feline friend or they enjoy the great outdoors, then you can take sensible steps to keep your cat healthy. Now, this may include cleaning the litter trays on a daily basis, placing food and water bowls away from the litter trays, keeping up to date with your cat's regular checkups and vaccinations, keeping an eye out for any symptoms or signs that your feline might be unwell, and also considering improving outdoor fencing or even considering keeping your cat indoors if FIP is a known threat in your area. Do you happen to have a condition or concern about your pet? Well then why not send it to me in the comments below and I'll do my absolute best to cover it on future Ask the Vet videos here on Rescue Vet. Bye for now.